Hey, it's Chessie from Screegin Inc. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to order your pre-exposed screen from us. This is one of our most popular products. This is the small 43T pre-exposed screen. This is most commonly used for printing t-shirts and it also comes in a large version for those oversized print designs that you might have. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know from ordering, sorting out your artwork, in order to set you up with one of these screens. This video is specifically for people using Adobe Illustrator. So if you are using Photoshop, that's in another video. Okay, let's get started and I'll show you how to format your images. You can go ahead and grab our template from our website and that's on www.squeegeeandink.co.uk. You can actually get this template for free, have a little play around before you purchase and I'm just going to show you where you'd get that. You'd go into services and then this pre-exposed screen tab just here. When you purchase the pre-exposed screens it's a free download but if you want to kind of grab it beforehand you can go to this free screen template section here. So if we click on that, it will bring that up as a product. Once you're on this screen template page, you can choose from the drop down whether you'd like the small or the large one. So I'm going to go for the large one and I'm going to add that to my cart. When it's added to the cart, you'll see this, this button here and it's also up in this little trolley icon. I'm going to go ahead and view the cart and check out. If I just want the template on its own, I can go ahead and proceed to checkout, or I could actually order the screen at this point. Now I'm at the checkout page, I can just add in all my details, scroll to the bottom, and I can press that I've read the terms and conditions, and I can just place that order. This is completely free, it's not going to charge you for the template at all, and now you're going to be able to download either the Photoshop or the Illustrator version. After checkout, you've got these two downloads here available. For this one, I'm going to show you on Illustrator. So I'm going to open up this large Illustrator file. It's going to do an automatic download when I click that button. This next step is super important that you've got the latest version of Illustrator and that you're actually opening up Illustrator first of all, and then you can find the file from within Illustrator. So I've got it open and I'm going to say file open and find that recent download which is going to be called um, it's this AI large screen so double click on that it'll open it up and we can get started so we've gone ahead and made this template for you guys so that we can make sure that we're getting your images exposed perfectly on there we've got step-by-step -step instructions of how to place your artwork how to label your your design and also we've got little um, technical details at the bottom there which will help you decide what mesh to choose so we've predetermined like the smallest font size that you can get on there the thinnest line width and even what your half tones are going to look like on all the different meshes we've also gone ahead and used the layers on illustrator which is not actually very commonly used but in there you can find there's an artwork layer which you can literally just drag and drop your artwork into and you can toggle off the other layers to show you safe zones for your exposure and your maximum print sizes. Just in case you don't know how to find those layers on Adobe Illustrator, I'm just gonna quickly show you where to find those in the Windows tab. Now I've got my template up, I'm gonna talk to you about these layers that we've made. To make sure that you've got these layers open, you can go to Window at the top and then make sure that Layers is ticked. Once that's ticked, you'll be able to see its little toolbar here. So I'm just gonna explain what these all mean. Um, the first one is going to be your artwork, so that's where we want you to place your, your artwork design. The second one is called safe zone, so at the moment it's not toggled on. If you want to see where it is, you can just press this little icon here and it will show you the safe zone. So on these screens there, there is a safe zone. This is where it's going to be coated with emulsion, so we're actually going to be able to physically expose within this zone. Um, anywhere outside here might not have emulsion and also the tension is going to be super high on that area of the screen so it might not print well so we'd really like you to stay within this safe zone we can toggle that off for a second and 
These last two layers, called template and studio use, you can keep those locked. They just contain information like the instructions and then at the bottom there's some extra information for you like technical details and an example of what we've done. Let's go ahead and do step one. Step one is typing your name, order number and mesh count directly onto the template. I've got my artwork layer file, I mean I've got my artwork layer selected. I'm going to zoom in here and then just type in my name where this arrow tells me to. I'm going to select type tool, click there and I'm going to write in my name. I can make that a little bit bigger if I want. The next bit says order number. So that's something that you're going to find once you've purchased the screen on your confirmation email. It's probably going to look a bit like that. That's just to make sure that we're syncing up your artwork with the exact screen that you've chosen. The next one is mesh count. So say you're printing t-shirts like me, you're most likely to have a 43T mesh. If you need a hand picking what mesh, you can always contact me and there's also some really handy details at the bottom of this page. That's step one complete, let's go into step two. So step two is upload your artwork to the screen template. I'm going to go file and then I'm going to say place and find my file on my computer. Mine's on my desktop and mine is this screen design illustrator file. I'm going to say place and I'm going to pop that in there. So at the moment it's kind of got this bounding box and I can't really see that it's a vector. The reason is because it's not embedded. So I can go ahead and click embed. And then you might even find it's got this bounding box still around there. What you can do to get rid of that is to just click and hold with the direct selection tool and I can just delete that box and then it's just a normal vector just as if it was opened as its own file. The next thing it says there is to make sure that it is to scale. So if I go into my selection tool or V, I can select it and it will bring up its sizes up here. So at the moment it's saying the width is 28, 289 millimeters. Well, I want it to be 300, 300 millimeters wide. So I'm gonna just press enter. That's just double checking that scale is exactly what I wanted. I can actually turn that safe, safe zone on and off just to make sure it's definitely within the parameters, which it is. Toggle that off and then it says and check that it's 100% black. Now what we mean by that is going onto the direct selection tool, picking an area that's black in the image and just double checking that it's not grey and it is in fact 100% black. I've just clicked this little black area here. I can say select, same, fill colour and stroke and it will bring up all the black that's that same colour in the image. If I want to check that, I can double check the fill. And at the moment it's bringing up all the zeros as the hex number there, which is perfect. If it was grey, it might be an assortment of numbers, but I could just drag it right down into the corner, make sure it's all the zeros, and then it's bang on like that. I can also check these little reg marks. Just say select, same, fill colour and stroke double check the colour again, it's all black, and then we can say OK. If there's any um, fonts and type in your image, it's really crucial that you actually make those outlines. Let me just show you what that looks like. Mine hasn't got any fonts, they're all outlines already, but I'm just going to type something and then show you how to make it into an outline. Um, So at the moment, this is just normal typed font. If I want to make that into outlines so that I don't have to have the same fonts as you and there's, it can't swap them in for any, any other fonts, I can just say type and then create outlines here. And then it's really, really simple. It's just made that into an object for me. So that's just another little thing to check. I can just delete that one. Um, and then it says, all the images are fully embedded this is all embedded already. I've already like taken out all the bounding boxes, so that's all perfect. And step two is now complete. Step three is saving the template as your name and order number. So I'm just going to go File, Save As. If I keep this information in, that it's an Illustrator file and that it's a large screen, I just want to take this name section here and type my name in. 
Please use the um, order number, I mean the, the name that you used when you're ordering the screen so I don't get confused. Or if you're a business, please put your business name in there. The order number that I made up before is 30598, but you're going to find your order number on your confirmation email. You can just save this as a PDF, save that, keep all these illustrated default, you don't need to change any settings there, press save PDF and that's all done. The fourth step is just emailing me that file. You might find it easier to use a website like WeTransfer because some of these files are quite large. So I'm going to show you how I'd do that. I'm going to go onto the WeTransfer website, which is just a free to use website. Here you're going to see it's got a section here saying email to. So I'd like you to email me, which is expose at squeegeeandink.co.uk. That's also on the template if you don't know where that is. You can write me a little message if you want, and then you can just add your files in here. My file is this one, so it's the Illustrator large screen, and it's got my name and order number, so that's going to be really easy for me to do. I'm going to press open, and I'm going to press transfer. It's now going to ask me for a verification code. You find that in your email, so if you just pop up to your email. So WeTransfer sent me this code here, which I'm just going to copy and paste back into WeTransfer to make sure this is definitely me sending it. Click verify. It's going to send that to me and you're all done. If you're finding that you're struggling to do this with the templates or that you just don't have time, there is actually an add-on service when you're ordering your screens called Artwork Perfection. That means that we take your artwork and we format it onto the templates, get your approval and get those screens exposed. In the description below, you're gonna find a link and that will bring you to the page of where to order your screens. There's also a free template there where you can predetermine which mesh you're gonna pick for your screen order. I hope you found this video really helpful and please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.